that nonstop stuff lends itself to some health issues. Yeah. Sometimes. And you came out and blew up a house trailer on Mayor of Kingstown here, yeah. uh, just a few cities away in, near Brantford. And I was surprised to see you. Yeah. Uh, you I was surprised to see me too. You, you weren't supposed <laughs> to be there. <laughs> So yeah. just prior to that, tell us what uh, what you might have gone through. Yeah, I, well, I was on my way to, I'm not a real burden on the healthcare system, but to go to the Cayman Islands to do five films, I had to get a, 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 a fiscal. And uh, I went in and uh, they kind of freaked out because I couldn't lay on my left side. I had been able to do that for years. And I was a heavy smoker. I even drank once or twice. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, and, I uh, wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed no. with that beard. In any case, a uh, uh, doctor came in and said, uh, you have to go to the hospital right away. And uh, this is in COVID as well. So in any case, to make a long story short, uh, they uh, found that uh, I needed five bypasses. Uh, the widow maker the, out of the aorta was 99% blocked. Uh, something wrong with the valve, and then four other ones were 95% blocked, so it's okay there. <laughs> and uh, in any case, they opened me up for about eight hours. Yeah, but tell them about the the the, the, the monitor and inviting everybody over. Oh yeah, yeah. They did this ultrasound for about an hour, and they kept calling people over and look at this, and then they'd watch, and uh, nothing had happened for a couple of heartbeats, and all of a sudden. Just a squirt had come out, and you know, I guess that was. Uh, <laughs> it was so plugged, it would go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, oh they showed God. me. It was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. And they said, "Yeah, that's the Widowmaker." And I love that name. You know. And. Um, that's funny. Yeah. And uh, so, in any case, the uh, doctor came and said, "You got to sign this. Uh, we need to operate." Like, like now. Uh, yeah, like. Holy within fuck. a couple of days, and he said, and it says there, you know, you. He says there's a ten percent chance you won't make it. And, mean I'll die? And I said, yes, yeah, you could die. Type. And I was just fucking with him, right? And uh, I said to him, have you done this before? And he was head of surgery at McMaster. And he looked at me and says, uh, yeah, I watched the YouTube. I said, did you watch the whole thing? He says, well, I watched most of it type thing. In any case, you got to sign here. And I, said, and I said, well, I'm not, a, my biggest fear about dying and going to heaven is I won't know anyone. And then he just fucking busted right up, right? And so... In any case, uh, on the way into the operating table, I have this, this uh, guy and a girl, they're rolling me in and saying, uh, you know, uh, how you feel and everything else. And I'm thinking, what do you mean, how do I feel? You know, I feel like I'm getting rolled in. Did you in not there, see the chart? Up, right? And uh, he <laughs> says, you are, you know, McDonald's and everything else. And I said, well, I, I can't tell for sure because I've heard that, you know, people get switched at birth. So I maybe actually be someone else type thing. Hey, fucking hell, and I got in there. And after I got it, I was like totally out of it for a few days, right? <laughs> uh, eight hours on the operating table. And this one nurse, cute as hell, kept coming up to me and says, do you remember me? <laughs> and then I had to make something up. I said, yeah, you're the one that asked me to marry you type thing. No, you said I had nice tits. And I said, I guess I was out of it and looking at her, you know. So I wasn't, uh, my sensitivity training yeah. Probably didn't uh, yeah, come didn't through the anesthetic through. very well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was uh, bizarre. In any case, uh, ended up with a staph infection. The guy next to me died from it and blah, blah, blah. But in any case, I get out and I'm in really rough shape. I take 10 steps and I got to rest for two days. You know, it was like. Uh, wow. They, the uh, and hold on, did I get something wrong or you just went in for a physical? Yeah. Because I hadn't been to the doctor and. 22 years or something. And the last time I went to the doctor, uh, I booked uh, an appointment, right? And when I got in there, and the doctor says to me, and he's my doctor, and he says, what are you doing here? I said, well, you're my doctor. I thought I'd get a checkup. He says, we had to go in the basement and go through like 22 years of files to find your name all covered in dust. What, 